Hallo Mensen, goeiedag Mensen. Hi people, now this is about the talk to you center bearing. One of the viewers said I didn't, um, I took the center bearing out of a talk to you, but I didn't show how I fixed it. So what happened there was I taken the talk tube and I then knocked the center bearing out and then I took another talk tube and I fitted that to the, my yellow pickup, that one there. The whole complete talk tube. It's the same talk tube than this one here. The cellar front so base than this in the material is. Die is een 1968 model uh, pick-up geweest. Hij is heel opgerust, daar was about nothing left. Was glad niet iets over van deze pick-up. Uh, the, it was badly rusted, this pick-up. It's a 1968 model pick-up. It was a 1968 pick-up and it totally, uh, was totally rusted. So I'm going to show you how to take the center bearing out of this talk tube. First thing we have to do is to check if there is there's any rust in the talk tube. So maybe we can see if I go down a little bit more on this and put on a little bit of a light and you see there's a little bit of rust in the bottom here you can't see much it's a lot of grease it's now turned upside down the grease nipple is at the pointing to the top so let's go and see what we can fix about this story. Um, first of all, you must take the grease nipple out. The reason why is the grease nipple fits in the center of this keep it from moving back and forth so the grease nipple keeps in place so first of all I'm going to check if this thing is on the clockwise so out is the grease nipple Winters, it's a winter's day, but it's very hot at this moment. Okay, then I take this uh, steel tubing or whatever it, is, it may, may be, and then I'm going to put it into the talk to you. So, take the four pound hammer, the four pound hammer, now the ladder is in the way, but uh, 
going to see if I can go past it. Come out down this way. I'll bet to put the cardboard underneath this. We we'll let the grease. Closer. So side Out.
En hierdie is het heel dier goed. Die stuff are expensive. I think there's too much of it. Kerosene stuff. Kerosene of petrol, a kerosene I mean, whatever you want to call it. Now the first thing I must do is to get the piece of metal out again. To the square tubing, a one inch square tubing. Clean the center bearing out and see the condition of the bearing. Unfortunately, I threw the old ones away. I only have good uh, bearings here. That's how they should look like. They must turn nicely. And all the rollers must be in place. 
if they ever do this, I'll have to fleece it, then it's garbage. Um, now this one. Um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, that's uh, those marks there. Here and there. That's a square tubing. Um, damaged, it, damaged it there when I was eating it out. But that's nothing because the bearing is quite far in into this housing. So it's only a little bit of the tents there, few tents on the outside metal here. So all you do now is uh, you uh, check it, it's, uh, it's in a good condition. It's a very nice, it's a very nice bearing there still. So I can put it back. Can you do a laar terugzet? It is centrale laar, can you terugzet? Now, how can I come back? That's the question. The way I put it back is the following. You, uh, let me put it there. And I measure it. From the grisnipple hole. And plus a little bit. For the center bearing. And I see it must be here. So I draw a line across this thing here. Let me check it out again. You can see the mark nicely on there. So, nice mark there. There's a dark mark. I mark the thing there. And all that I do now is to put the pain into the talk tube again. In the top tip, a rubber. There's a rubber, <coughs> yeah, to seal it because you must grease it and the grease. Talk to you. you see, there's a hole, and there's another hole there. So the grease goes into the center here and it goes through that hole and through that hole there, and then greases the rollers. So you must heat it until the, these rubber seals are like that. So like this and then you turn the reasonable back. Good. Soft hammer and heat it. There, there it is in back into its place. Now I must.
Let's just I made it further in with this square tubing. Push it in. It's nearly by that mark. There's a mark on my on this. There's a mark. There. There's a mark. So I must go to. Until it's there. Okay. Turn it up. And I go to the center of the torque tube and I check. Where is the... Mm -mm. It's just before the... In front of the torque tube, of the center bearing. So I just... Heat it a little bit more. Feel it. Okay, that's the rubber. Seal. It's now a fill the rubber seal. It's a rubber seal here. Yeah. So I'm pressing on the rubber seal there. Some more tiny bit. So feel now. I'm just past it. So I think I'm here now. On that spot there so let's go a little bit more right. check it again still not oh, there I'm going off it now um, Wedging it. I think I must just go down. So, see, that's it. Now I am, now I am, I am in the center here. And there's a dot in the middle. So, so no connect the Reasonable inset. Nice, man. Reasonable. Right. Now I can put the reasonable back. Just clean it.
And then I'll use a spanner. Dan gebruik ik een moersleutel. Dat is een elf moersleutel voor die kris nippel. Dat is hij. Nou, mijn talktype is has been assembled again. Nou, mijn center bearing is in a good condition. I checked it, I cleaned it. And I re uh, fitted it back. I um, yeah, I refitted it, and now I can just put the shaft in, and I can put it on a vehicle. Okay, so this, that's how you do the center bearing on your talk tube. Dan sê ek tot ziens, dan den as sy bye bye, en thank you for viewing my video, check, looking at my video, dankie dat jylle na deze video gekyk het, en tot volgende keer, until next time then, bye bye.